Hello, good morning Year 6. Welcome back to another virtual maths lesson. I hope you're feeling refreshed and ready to go. Okay, We are going to be looking at some of the things we've covered this week. But before we start, remember you will probably need a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper to do some working out. Remember you should be pausing this video when I ask you to, to try and solve it yourself and then checking your answers along with mine. Today we're going to be looking at multiplication again, but this time word problems building on from what we did on Monday's lesson. Your success criteria is here. I can solve word problems. I can use multiplication strategies. I can write my answer into a sentence. If you can say those things at the end of this lesson, you have done really well and you've achieved the success criteria and therefore the learning intention. Now then, let's start fairly simply and recap what we did on Monday. 17 times 34. Now, I often use column uh, multiplication methods you use whatever method is suitable for you. If you want to use a grid method, if you want to use it mental, uh, if you want to solve it mentally, okay, uh, use a mental method, you are more than welcome to do so. I'm going to do this in column just to recap what we did earlier this week. So I'm going to put it in to 17 times 34. Paying close attention to make sure the units, the tens, and hundreds and thousands, if you go that far, are all lined up correctly. Seven times four, it can be the first thing that I solve, okay? So seven times four is 28. Four times one is four plus two is six. Okay then. We now go into that golden rule territory. We need to remember, I'm tens and by this number, it's a ten, it's in tens column, I need to remember that place value holder, that golden rule, okay? To make sure it all matches up. Three times seven is 21. And three times one is three, plus my two is five. And my final step is to now add them together. Again, I'm pretty sure you could do this mentally in your head without too many problems. Eight plus zero is eight, six plus one is seven, five there, okay? And therefore, 17 times 34 is 578, okay? This is where we're going to today's work. We're gonna start looking at our word problems. As soon as I have finished reading this question, I would like you to pause the video and try and highlight, to try and write down the important parts of this question. Again, is it important about being in 5L and 6TD? Well, let's read the question and find out. As soon as I finish reading, pause and get the important information written down on your sheet of paper. In 5L and 6TD, the children do a sponsored hop for sports relief. 17 children hop 54 metres and 12 children hop 62 metres. How far in metres did they hop all together? Okay, pause the video and you take out the important information please. What's important in this question? Go. Okay, you should now be ready to answer this question. The important information, you should highlight it as the following parts. 17 children hop 54 metres, that's important. 12 children hop 62 metres, that is important as well. And how far in metres did they hop all together? Well, that's my question. That's the most important information there, because this is the question that I need to answer. You will notice there's three colours being used, because I've got three parts to this question. Always double check, am I ready to do two things, three things, four things, one thing? In this case, you're going to have to answer three parts. So first, 17 children hop 54 metres. 17 times by 54. Again, year six, pause the video, try and work out this. Maybe try and work out this one as well. And then finally, try and put all your answers together. Pause it there and try and work your way through this question. When you've got an answer, press the play button down below again and see if your answer matches mine. Okay, 17 times 54, let's work our way through. Four times seven, okay, is 28. Four times one is one, plus my two is six. And I'm gonna be adding that to 50 times 17. Remember, golden rule, place value holder. Seven times by 50 here, yeah? okay. So 5 times 7 is 35, and 5 times 1 is 5, plus my 3 
is 8. There we go. I can now add these two together. 68 plus 850. I've got an 8 there. That's 11. And that is 9. So these children have hopped 918 metres. So that's part number one. Part number two is a little bit different. Okay. 12 children hopping 62 metres. So it's 12 times by 62. You may be able to work this out mentally in your head by doing 62 times 10, 62 times 2, and adding it together. Or you may do 2 times 62 and 10 times 62, and work it that way. For repetition and for ease, I'm going to use a colour method again, but again, use whatever method is suitable for you. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. Golden rule, place value folder. Zero straight in, 10 times by 60 now. 60 times 2, okay. I've got my zero here, so 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 1, 6 plus 1 is indeed 7. Give me a total here of 744 metres. So I've worked out this part. I've worked out this part. I now need to answer the question. The question asks me, how far in metres did they hop all together? Now, for this part, okay, I need to add these two together. So I'm going to do 918 plus 744. Again, if you can do this in your head, please do. If you have a different method of working this out, please use that. Use a method that is comfortable for you. 8 plus 4 is 12. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 9 plus 7 is 16. So, the children, all together, have hopped 1,662 metres. Okay, well done if you've got that correct. And bonus mark if you can convert this part here, 1,662 metres, into kilometres. Okay, interesting question there. Now then, on to our second and final question of this little video. As soon as I have finished talking, Okay, so as I've read out this question, pause the video and see if you can highlight, if you can write down the important information. Mia went to a gift shop and she bought four presents, each costing £6.84. She paid £28.68. Was she charged the correct amount? What's the important information there, Year 6? Pause the video, quickly write it down. Okay. You should have highlighted or wrote down the following parts. Four presents, each costing £6.84. We know how many presents she's bought and how much they cost her presents. We know now how much she's paid. And the question, was she charged the correct amount? I now need to work this out. So, pause the video and now have a go at working out this. Was she charged the correct amount? Okay, hopefully you've now got an answer and you're ready to solve the question. I could, as we've already mentioned, use any method suitable for multiplication. In this case, I'm going to be doing 4 times £6.84. Again, those number facts we should know. To multiply by 4, I can double it and double it again. So that's what I'm going to do. Rather than using a column or a grid method, which might take a little bit longer, I could probably do this in my head, or you may just want to jot down a few little notes, but double it and double it again. In that case, double £6.84 becomes £13, okay, and 68 pence. I need to double it again to get my final answer, okay? Times by four, double, and double again. £13.68 doubled is going to leave me with £27.36. Okay. So I've now got how much she should have paid. Does it match up? It does not match up. Okay. She should have paid £27.36. Instead, she paid £28.68. So therefore, I can write my sentence. No, Mia did not pay the correct amount. And there we go. I've 
That's my question. The answer is here. I wrote it in a sentence. And my mathematics has proven that this and my answer are correct. Okay? And that's what you're going to be doing today. So, your tasks for today are as follows. Number one, go to Education City and complete the starter activity. It's a very quick, simple activity to get your brain working before you start your main task. Number two, go to Study Ladder and complete the main task. That's your main part of this mathematics work. Okay? And number three is your extra challenge. You are more than welcome to do this. Create three of your own word problems and then send them to me. You can use Class Dojo, you can use email, you can use Skype. Okay? Send them to me and let's see, can I answer your questions? Okay, remember your six, no calculators allowed. Enjoy and have an awesome day. Thank you very much.